What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And first of all, guys, I want to apologize. I want to apologize, uh, not for the guy who said to look the, the tutorial, uh, for the fact that I have been um, making really long episodes. I know not everybody likes those, and... <laughs> Trust me, I tried to keep them short. It's just that sometimes I just don't see the time passing by. And I think I'm doing too big of an intro saying what I've done and stuff like that. So we're going to try to to keep under 30 minutes. That's my goal. And it's always been my goal, pretty much. Uh, so first of all, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look in here just to see... Okay, I don't have any rice and any... Anything else. So we're going to put that on the other side here. Uh, we're going to put that like here and here. And it's really important. By the way, this thing works like a charm. I did have to add one thing here. I did not have dimensional shards. So, yeah. Alright, so let's put these in there. Wait, it didn't go in? Wait. Oh, wait. It doesn't go all the way there? But it should, it goes all the way here. Hmm. Let's recheck. It should because... Okay, no, it works. For some reason, it kind of glitched and didn't want to go there. Uh, I did what I said I was going to do a long time ago. I cleaned things up. But, I kind of moved things over there. Uh, you can see there's still clean up to do. But, there is a reason why this is made like so. Uh, I, I did prepare something, but since we've done farming like so many episodes, like food and stuff, I said to keep it a little bit short, so pretty much what I have is the same setup with this on the bottom and everything. The only thing is, I don't have anything to farm, which is where we are going. Uh, we're gonna make a farming station. Yes, I know, it sounds exciting. Uh, <laughs> farming station. It's actually pretty good. I, I prepared everything. I've also prepared what's going to go in the farming station because I'm perfect, you know. I'm perfect. Uh, by the way, if you're asking yourself, so how's your diamond situation? It's still pretty low. It's better, but it's still pretty low. Uh, I'm still working on getting those. All right, so... With the farming station, we'll need upgrades, but I don't know the upgrades size. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. It's going to show us the size uh, that it's able to farm. What we want is like pretty much the biggest one. So does it do seven? It does five. So this one is no good. All right. Uh, maybe I'll put this one there. Okay, let's see this one. Nothing. This one? Oh, that seems... No, that seems one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this one's no good. Let's put it down at the bottom. This one doesn't even move. It's again a five. We need... We need a seven. That, that's why I made the, the farm over there. Oh, there we go. That's a seven. And it uses 60 RF, which is pretty good, because normally the 7 uses 100. So, <laughs> so this is cool. Alright, so we're gonna go put... Th there might be some, some uh, things to adjust. This is my way of getting down here. By the way, I really need to do the painting machine. I hate seeing cables next to water. Okay, so we put this thing here. Uh, my question... Okay, it's taking power from here. It's not taking power from here, so which was the plan? I wanted this to be the first source of power. So, no seed, no hope. Well, fix the situation with a paper mattock. <laughs> if you didn't know, you can do a paper mattock and place five reinforced. Uh, I'm gonna show it. Reinforced. Uh, reinforcement. And it's pretty much just a cast. You can do just two gold, pour it into the thing, and put obsidian around it. And it's going to give you, at five, it's going to give you unbreakable. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look in here and say east, south, and north. So uh, we're going to grab this, oops, some of that. All right, and we're going to go, we were, this is east, south, and north. So northeast is going to be flax. And southeast is going to be rice. So let's just make sure southeast. Okay, that seems about right. And we're gonna block. Oops, we're gonna block these two over here. Uh, we're gonna place that in there just to make sure it covers the whole thing. Perfect. This is perfect. All right. Okay, so next step also, what I need to do is tell it to push on this side and push on this side. Also, we need to go at the bottom and tell it to push. Push! Push! So, I've got filters a little bit everywhere. This one is for the bread. Uh, well, this is going to create an issue. Uh, I don't want a filter here. I just want you to be lower than this this one is at one over here we've got this at five perfect uh wait uh no potatoes don't give seeds so it's okay <laughs> it's okay uh i do think i forgot to put string over there maybe i have it like for mobs but it's just because we're getting into automation that's the plan for this episode okay we do have it here and the problem with automation in AE is you need a lot of string if you want to make it look good. So that's why we go like this. All right. So let's go here. This thing can now be like this. I think everything is all right. So the potatoes should come here first because it's connected directly. And then it should go at the bottom second. I hope it's going to work. Let's give this a try. Okay, so now that everything is set up, we can just normally put the hole in there. Thing is going to start to pour in. The thing I want to see is the potatoes are they going to go in there. This is probably draining this power. Wow, it's actually keeping up. But this thing's not in pudding. Hmm. Oh, it's because it's on strict. Is it? Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> that was weird. Oh, but it's inputting, but this thing's not outputting. Uh, output... Is this the bottom? Nope. Hmm. Is this the bottom? <laughs> I can't output! What the hell? active this thing should output 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 let's do this it's still not outputting why <laughs> okay let's remove everything it's gonna input from the front, output from the bottom. <laughs> it doesn't want to! Oh man, seriously? It's like every hole! <laughs> I, it can't output. Uh, well, I'll figure out why eventually. Uh, th this is not what's important right now. Okay, let's put there. So, things seem to be going at the right place. The seeds, they are in here. Perfect. So, this thing here, is it... Pull. Push. Alright. So, it's pulling, pushing over there. So perfect, everything is working, as almost intended. 
<laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do this, put that back in there. Alright, so this thing's going to be pretty cool because uh, the, the reason for potatoes and uh, rice and... Well, it's because rice you can make paper out of it and potatoes you can make potatoes out of it. So <laughs> that, that's the reasons. Okay, so now let's go check our system. Let's just make sure everything's working okay. Uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of string. Perfect. Okay. So let's put like these things in there since we don't need them. All right. So applied energistics. Okay, so in applied energistics, there's a lot of things that you need to automate, like making cables, making connections, the interface, normally these, but I've already made some because we're going to need some crafting. So the first step is you need to have ME controllers. And that's about how many I can make at the moment. So what I want to do, since I'm never going to put anything around here, I want to put my controller here but in the ground. Uh, I know I'm destroying some beautiful lamps, but it's okay. Okay, I think we can only go seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we're gonna go like this. And the reason I wanna do this here is because I'm gonna be able to pass cables all the way under. That's seven, let's put one here. The only thing is we're going to have to change a couple of things around so that it uh, looks a little bit better. Uh, let's just do this, 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 this. Uh, no, what am I doing? This is the middle. I was just broken with the right side. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need to make more pure floor. Fl Florx crystal thing. Uh, but that's not the first thing we're gonna do. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of this and we're simply gonna make as much wool as we can. 64 is gonna be okay for the moment. All right, we're also going to need to make some normal fluid. Okay, do, do I have a lot of fluix? I've got some. Uh, do a stack. Oh, 52. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it with the wool. This is gonna give us covered cables. Okay, perfect. So now we have 64. What we can do is just cover it with a color, but it's not cool. It's not the best. What you want to do is do these kind of cables and these kind of cables. So those are the smart cables. They're going to show you how many channels you have. Of course, I'm going to need a bunch of these. So I'm actually going to go all the way in, which is going to make 16. Then, of course, you need some uh, dye. I'm going to use blue just because it's the first color I saw. Uh, and there we go. So now we get blue. What we're going to do now is connect from here to all the way to the back. Which I'm going to change this one. It's going to give me an error right now because you can't have two controllers. But it's okay. Uh, except I need that cable. There we go. That's why I made the Ring of Fortune, just in case. So now I can't access my system because this is a controller, so it needs to be changed to a normal cable. With the normal cable, I should be able to assist to... There we go. So I've got a network apprentice, eight channel. Nice. So here you can see I've got nine channels on there. Uh, we're just going to remove this. Oh, okay. Craft a controller. <laughs> okay, I just have a lot more than one, but thank you. <laughs> Okay, so one thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go a little bit more down. We're just, we're gonna go maybe one more. Alright, so that's about the size that I want this thing to be. Alright, bam, bam, 
Bam. Bam. And let's go around. I don't really care about the ores. I know, I know there's a lot of ores. Uh, and let's just fill this back in for now. Okay. So we're gonna do like the whole circle. Uh, this is going to be covered by cables. Oh, wait. Uh, I think you can do this. Will it actually be the right color? Let's test. Yes, it is the right color. Perfect. Perfect. So this is going to be covering our stuff. This is great. So, all right. From this thing, we'll be able to go, like, let's say, to the top uh, through, I don't know, the columns and put something at the top that we're going to need. Uh, we're going to do these around here, but first, we'll need more cables and things like that. Uh, so, let's see what we need next. We're going to need to make some molecular assembly to autocraft things, but it's not really important at the moment. What we really need is to make some crafting storage. The crafting storage... Oh, wait. Oh, they changed the recipe. Okay. Crafting units. Yeah, of course I'm going to need more of these. So, it's these, these. There we go. Should be enough. Let's do this. Uh, let's do as many as we can. Yeah, that's good. I can make more than I thought. Uh, okay, so that's 16. So what we can do is a couple of coprocessor, which this will allow you to craft more than one thing at a time on the same processing unit. Uh, let's do this. Okay, I can only do seven. <laughs> and... Uh, in my bag here, pre I prepared some of these, so 16Ks. Alright, so what this will do is with, it will allow us to actually craft things. So, the best way to f do this the way that I found the best way is to go something like this. You do different types, like so. Hmm, I'm thinking of something, maybe that could be cool. Uh, no. Nah. I was thinking of making some at the top and some at the bottom. So we could dupe. Like our, our space. Alright. And we're gonna put this too. So it means we can do two per. Uh, of course I want to make more. Probably gonna touch the ceiling. But these are gonna be four. Processing unit. And the trick is... To pass this to your controller. Alright. Oops. Okay, some other trick that you can do, which is pretty easy to do, is something called P2P channels. Uh, one of them will work. Oh, I need diamond. Uh, let's do diamond. Hey, right, we're gonna do half of it. Uh, which one is the diamond? Nope. Yes. Okay, and then we're gonna put it over here. Okay. Unless I have logic, no circuit. No, I don't have any. Okay. Processors. Yeah, this is pretty much... Wow, I don't have anything. <laughs> okay, so this thing is going to work. A P2P channel will allow you to... Send all your channels from one thing to another, like without using, let's say you use 32 channels. Well, you can use 32 channels over there and when it comes here, you're going to transport it on something that can have 8 channels. And when it's going to come back into here, it's going to do the 32 channels. So it's pretty useful. And I've got my own way of doing my P2P channels, and I'm gonna apply it here. But let me grab some more materials, like try to get the materials to at least finish like this circle here, and I'll bring you guys back just after. 
All right, guys, so I've been crafting a lot of things and uh, preparing a lot of things. You can see this thing is a lot bigger. This thing is uh, it's just temporary. I'm going to modify it. But at the bottom, we have my design of P2P channels. Uh, so what does this do? It's actually not needed to be a dance here. I just saw that. Uh, so I'm going to change that for a normal one. And the same thing will go over here. All right. So what does this do? I've got P2P channels all the way around. And what I'm going to be... Oh, wait, they changed it. They changed something. Nice. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I just saw something. I'm super happy. Uh, before, they didn't say unlinked or linked. They just didn't say anything. So it was hard to know which one was linked or not. But, all right. So what my trick actually allows me to do is send my P2P channel in my system so that way i can connect to my system anywhere and then it's it's connected so i can access them anywhere so i just go from my system and i can then let's say take this here place it here oh i made this i'll talk about it after and then i take my memory card and right click uh, shift right click and let's say we're going to take this one here right click then we're gonna wait a little bit because it's gonna work. What? Ah, oh, it's stupid. It still says unlinked. <laughs> okay, maybe it's, it was not. Uh, yeah, it's still unlinked. All right. So now, as you can see, it's going to connect to this. Is it gonna connect? It should. It's a channel. It's a valid channel. Why is it not connecting? Hmm. Okay. Copied. Pasted. Ah, there you go. Linked. Oh, nice. They, they really did change it. So, okay. So now here, as you can see, there's a blue line saying there's one channel. And what I'm going to do is put this line here. So now it's going to say four channel. And over here is going to say four channel. And then here, it says one channel, because they pass in the P2P, which goes here to this. So this is pretty cool, because it allows you to go directly from your system to somewhere else, while just using a P2P channel. And you don't have... Some people did do the same thing, but they use a sub network. I, I find that it's completely useless, considering the fact that you can do it just like this. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing... Here, I'm just gonna pass the cable. Oops. Alright, so let's just pass the cable. So now I've got five processor. Five of them. Well, five of them and these are good. These can just do a lot. But, I can't do anything. <laughs> Nothing's connected. So, of course, we're gonna need an interface. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm not going item this, this time. I'm going this way. So, interface. The first thing I'm going to interface, what is it going to be? Well, of course it's going to be one of these two. And this one's not annoying to do, this one is. Let's do this one. So, all right, let's, uh, we're gonna put this temporary for now. I'm gonna make a small one, place it here. Device missing channel. Okay, no, it's online, all right. And then we're going to place... Oh, wait, I can't do this. Uh, we're going to move this one to on top of here. Okay, I'm going to place this one here. We're going to turn this one back like this. And if I... Uh, I think I need... There we go. That's what I want. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I want you to point the other way. <laughs> Can't it point this way? <laughs> it pointed all the ways except that one. Okay, let's, let's try it here. Okay, now it can. Okay. 
So now we're going to place this thing here, but it doesn't have any power. So the trick is... Well, I, I really don't like the way I'm doing this. Uh, okay, let, let's try this again. Anyway, it's temporary, so let's just... Oh, wait, it did work. Okay, there. Okay, so it comes here. I'm going to put this. We're going to come here and we're going to go with... Uh, Certus... No. Applied Energistics. I never remember the name of that tiny thing. Uh, quartz fiber. This thing. Okay. We're going to need one of those. We're going to place it here. Then we're going to place a cable. If I still have a cable. Yes, I do. Place it on top. So this is going to give it power. All right. Then we have this in my inventory. It's a pattern terminal. You need the crafting terminal, the same thing as this one, and you make a pattern out of it. So we're going to place this thing here. It's going to it's probably going to be missing a channel. <laughs> I've got way too many things connected here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I, I feel like I've got too many things connected. Like, really too many things. But uh, it seems to be working. No device missing. This thing seems to be doing okay. Yeah, things are alright. We need patterns for this. Oh, pattern. What patterns? Uh, these things here. So you'll need one, two, and code one, pretty much. Okay, so we're gonna have two here. And the way it works, because this is a machine, you need to come here and click this processing pattern. So if I look at charged, I have one. And I'm gonna look at Certus. I'm gonna say one. There we go. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna do this. So now if I go here and I go charged, I should be able to middle click and say make two start. It's gonna go in there. I'm not sure it's going to remove it. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work as planned. Um, hmm. So yeah, you need a way to get it out of there. <laughs> I thought this would, like, in and out. I never used this though. Uh, let's go upgrade. Maybe there is something I can put in there. I've seen people do this all the time. Oh, it's because they use a machine that can automatically extract. My bad. But uh, yeah, so pretty much it's going to go in there. You just need to pull it out. I'm probably going to put like a... Just a, something that sends from here to there. And it's going to go back in the system. But this is the main thing about crafting. And yeah, this is pretty much the way we're going to go. Uh, the... Also, let me check. Eight minutes. No, we don't have the time. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I want to do something with this. It's going to solve the problem. I'm, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, it's called a flawless calculator. And there's a couple of recipes you can do. Uh, no, the flawless calculator I want. Yes, this one. But you can do like uh, four gold, four diamond. Four iron, four an ender pearl, four blaze rods, four gas tears. All these things are pretty much things that we need. So I think this is going to be the way. So next episode, I do want to get into those. But guys, that is going to be it for today. So I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Also clean this up.